Hello folks, Farmer Envoy here, and this is going to be a short video on Is the Great Process Unit Worth It in FS25, Farm Simulator 25? So, what I've got done is done a small test and extrapolate these results via math. And what I'm going to do now is quickly pull up a table on that, so feel free to pause because I'm going to be referring to this a lot in this video, and the math makes sense, it does, but long story short, Grapes and olives in general, are they worth it? Olives are worth more. I'm going to do a separate video on olive oil and all that. So, obviously, recently I've done a video on just the introduction to grapes and olives in general. Briefly showed off this production. So, this is great process unit. This cost 240 grand. Sock count was like five or four. So, yeah, you get grapes and turn that into grape juice or raisins. So, in terms with the grape juice, now that is a 14 to 4 ratio at 720 cycles per month. So, via using the maximum math out, so the maximum requirement input is 10,080 litres of grapes to get 2,880 litres of grape juice. And looking at the average sell price, so going up to grape juice, definitely compared to just doing grape snacks, it's almost marginal. The prices between grape and grape juice is marginal. You will get slightly more profit from using raisins, but anyways, we're we'll be looking at raisins, sorry, grape juice first of all, so price can vary from 4,600 to 5,300. And what I've gone done is over the course of the months that, sorry about that, yeah, over the course of the months, I figured out, you know, skipping ahead, taking the average sell prices, and at the moment, we're looking at fairly decent at, because we're in, what, January at the moment, so price is going to go up again so yeah possibly we get over 5300 if you've got the xml filing code now i think it's a 21 percent bonus we can get with a great demand sell price and that's so yeah potentially great juice can be worth more at its peak sell price if you get the great demand bonus however because we're getting 10,080 liters of great juice um sorry 2,880 liters of great juice a month times that by aussie 5,000 on average, as you say, you get an average monthly profit of 50,248. And over the course of 12 months, that is a profit of 603,000, give or take that. But now that's going to be, yeah, if you, you know, 600,000 a year in profit. Yeah, that's all good saying that. And I'm going to quit over the raisins now. So raisins is a two to one ratio. 10,560 required input, output is 5,280. From my working out, the average sell price was like 4,894, so literally a pound less than the grape juice net. But obviously, as we've seen, you know, it can be worth a lot more if you save up and put them in storage. So, yeah, if you're doing grape juice or raisins, that personally, I recommend saving it. And then set it at its highest price. Don't set it straight away unless you're desperate for money. Because I'm saying that, this requires a lot of money to be fully utilised. Like, I've done the math on this production, and just as a reference, so ignoring this test strip here, this vineyard here, I've got nine of these strips, and with a maximum yield bonus of 100%, I got 2,400 and 39 litres of grapes. And how much does this vineyard cost me? At an average price of, it says 105. I'm not sure what's it in metres, what, because I've gone from here all the way to the end and it is 64 metres long. So 64 times 9, that is the size of the test strip I've got. You can do two harvests a year with grapes if you're not using seasons because grapes take five months to grow so you can do two harvests every ten months in the course of a year. You're going to need like this vineyard times by 25 so because if these uh, rather than me just say I'm going to show you so let's go here so place that down go to the end Okay, I don't have the money, but that's going to cost us 9,134 grapes and olives video. So, obviously, that this test strip costs 82,000. So, if you're going to need 
this strip 82,000 times that by 25 to fully utilize the great production facility that's going to cost you an astounding of an about I haven't done the math exactly two million pounds and remember if that's just for maximizing one of these items not both just one of them so obviously raisins that can be used for your steer production down the road so there is that as a factor but i'm not going to be looking at today i'm going to be looking at you know is this actually worth doing so and it's maximum profitability of six hundred twenty thousand a year and that's with raisins not using the raisins for cereal, just using the raisins as it is now. That's going to take over three years to have a profitable vineyard that can maximize, utilize the grape processing unit because of the sheer input and how fast this can churn through your vineyard. So take that as a pinch of salt because at the end of the day, is grapes worth doing in general? No, it ain't. It's like the second worst, if not the worst crop to do, alongside with olives. I know Scroft did a test video. He did his own testing, and his results came to grapes and all this being the worst crops to do base. And you barely make any more margins if you're just selling the grapes as it is. Because at the end of the day, the unit costs 240000 Seeing that in the course of a two million pound cost vineyard 200 grand for this or 240 grand so yeah shoot under factories great processing unit there you go uh, i'm not sure if you got a small one in game i can't remember if we have i don't recall seeing one okay right yeah you do have a small one so in terms with that so right just bear me a sec i need to just remove one of these Let's go and get, get our small grape processor unit. So, if I recall with most of these vineyards, so where is my test strip? There it is over here. So, if I just go and whack this down, there you go. So, because I think these small productions, yes, they are smaller, but terms with scale net. Uh, you're going to need a hell of it more because, yeah, it's a tenth of it. So, again, yeah, feel free to use the smaller thing, this one here, the smaller production. Because, yeah, that's going to save you a bit of money in terms of the total costs get set up. At 36 grand compared to 240 grand. But in terms of profitability of how much this can, can consume and requires... The small one is a tenth of that, so if you're going with the large one, that's going to take you three years. If you're going to use this small one, it's going to take you, I haven't done the math, because for most people, I don't think they would use one. Me, personally, I'll go with the big one, just have that throughput capacity. Because just looking at raisins, that's a two to one ratio, you're going to get 500 litres a month, so in the course of a year, that is... 6,000 litres of raisins you can get. Using our average price, you can get 2,500 a month because 528 litres with our sell price of 5,000. Yeah, that's about 2,500 give or take. Over the course of a year, that's going to be about 30,000 you can get in profit. Then saying that, in terms of the requirements now, that, it requires 12,000 litres a month, well, sorry, 12,000 litres a year. So overall, it is a slightly better, yeah, it's slightly better, slightly worth it. And in terms of our test strip vineyard, remember this was 82 grand in total cost, 2,439 liters we got. So to maximize the other war production, you're gonna need six of these. So six times 82,000 is what half a mil, give or take. Um, I ain't, I ain't gonna pause and keep on skipping that. So half a mil and half a mil times that with sixty, sorry, with thirty thousand. That's gonna take even longer to pay off than that. So overall, if you want profit, get the big unit. However, if you want something to use your grapes now or grape juice and raisins, 
to be produced and that then at the end of the day it's down to you. Overall, long story short, it's not worth it. It's gonna take you at least three years. With the small one, that's gonna take you what, five, six years to actually continuously do to pay off, and that's with you not using seasons and us on easy economy, so my recommendation is perhaps not to use this production net. However, down the road, we get, may get mods and that may make this a bit more efficient. If we do get mods like that, I will be doing, of course, a mod view. But, yeah. So, I think overall, I know... So, what I'm going to try to do is, like, time slap this into sections and that. So, overall, it's not worth doing. It's going to take you at least three years to become profitable. But if you're one of those people who are just skip, skip years year after year after year, me personally, on average, say file, I'll perhaps do about five, six years. So this is something that I could be looking to maybe to make it profitable. But also, you got to remember, it's the cost of equipment and that. So not just the 82 grand plus for your strips and that. It's like the cost of these equipment now, you know, Corver mill, 240,000 for your harvesters. The pruners and that aren't too bad in that, I'll admit. But unless we get mods, you know, where we can get a small harvester for a far cheaper price, like a pull behind one, like we did in FS22 and that. I can't remember, was it? I can't remember the brand of it was. It was the yellow, was it Cavalry or whatever brand? I can't remember off the top of my head, but. Overall, I would avoid doing grapes and all this in general. Well, sorry, grapes in general. All this, on the other hand, that is something worth looking into. That's going to be another video coming up very soon. And even though grapes aren't worth doing, grape juice, raisins, whatever that, on their own, they're not worth it. However, if you're doing cereal where it does require raisins, potentially, depending on what recipe you're going for, then it may be worth doing the raisins and that just to feed the seal production but that's going to be again another video on its own and I was going to leave it for today I know this has been all over the place I do apologize but yeah so refer to the table that's going to be as clear as I can make it that I may add to a section for the sword production but I'm not sure because at the end of the day in terms of profit stick with the big production it's going to be a heavier upfront cost than that I'll admit 36,000 versus 240,000, so go with the bigger one personally, because that is a tenth of the capacity of that at a less than tenth of the cost of that. But, anyways, as always, hope you found this helpful and affordable in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash the like button, feel free to comment below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you nice day. But for now, it's before my Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.